watazamaji wetu hii ni Kenya Assembly of God Airport North utawala section tayari kuletea ibada ya Jumapili ya leo ya mwezi ya mwisho wa mwezi wa tano Bwana wabariki tunapoingia katika ibada yetu acha tuombe Baba ni asante tukufundishie shukrani kwa wema wako katika maisha yetu katika nchi yetu hata katika dunia nzima umekuwa kwa mimi katika mambo mbalimbali na tunakutazamia pia katika uaminifu wako wa siku zijazo tunapoingia katika ibada zetu za leo tubariki bariki pia dunia nzima bariki ibada zote zinazoendelea mahali popote pale uinuliwe Mungu ni kwa sababu tunazikutegemea wewe ni mwema hujawahi shindwa na ni katika jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu tunaomba na kuamini
ya sante Asante baba kwa kuwa umekuwa mwema umekuwa mwaminifu kwetu baba. Tunamleta mnenaji mbele zako baba. Akaanza kutuhudumia yale anatoka kwako baba. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini. Today once again we bring you the message of the uh, last Sunday of this month and uh, the topic is about becoming a champion. Can you remind your neighbor becoming a champion? And we thank God for this topic it comes from the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter number 9 verse 23. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter number 9 from, from verse 23 to 24. Let's read together. And the Bible says, I do, I do all, I do all this, I do all this for for the sake of the gospel, that I may share in the blessing. Do you not know that in the race all the runners ran, but only one gets the prize? Run in the such a way as to get the prize. Every competitor who competes in the game goes into the strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get the crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like any man running aimlessly. I do not fight like any man beating the air. No, I beat my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, myself will not be disqualified for the prize. May the Lord bless the reading. Yes. We had prayed before, and we thank God for, uh, for this far he has brought us. And we can see, if we want to become a champion, there is several things we need to do, my friend. And, but what, before we go for the uh, five things that will make us become a champion, I would like us to uh, remind you just a little bit, the writer of the book of First Corinthians is Apostle Paul. Paul, writing this book, he wrote it the year A.D. 55 to, 53, uh, to 56. A.D. 55 to 56. And the theme of this book, Paul gave it church problems and solutions. He gave it the theme church problems and solutions. And he gave it the purpose or what made him to write this book. It was to correct disorder in the church of Corinth and, and views. A disorder in the church that uh, the Corinthians had viewed. Slightly to provide counsel and instruction on varieties of questions about which the Corinthians had written. There were some questions that Corinthians had written to him. He was trying uh, to answer these questions. Number one, issue of the uh, doctrines and personal uh, corporate conduct and purity. Now, uh, I won't go to so many theological backgrounds but due to this, Paul is writing this while in the chain. But because of time, I, I will not go to so many uh, uh, theological backgrounds. But I would like to give you five, five qualities that will make you to become a champion. Come on, can you tell your neighbor five principles to make us to become champions? Number one principle is submitting strictly to the discipline and practices. From where we have read, we can see Paul is talking about submitting. Come on, say submitting strictly to the discipline and practices. If our, uh, uh, an, an athlete would like to win a race, he cannot just win. He must go and cause some discipline of practices, not just practicing, but practicing strictly, giving himself a discipline of that particular practice until he comes to become fit, then he will go for the competition. And this is, as a believer of Christ, you need to understand the exercise you need to make uh, for you to become a champion. This is uh, what you need to do. You need to be in the exercise of prayer. Come on, say, exercise of prayer. I need to pray for me to become a champion. And if you miss to pray, you as a believer, 
you will never become a champion. Instead, you will be overcome by the enemy. Number two, you need to, uh, to read the word of God. If you read the word of God, you will be doing one of the exercises of a believer for you to become a champion. Number three, exercise of giving and exercise of testifying of the goodness of God. But believers, some of, the, of us, we never pray, we never exercise reading the word, we never give because of the excuses we have. We never testify of the goodness of God. And now, I remind ourselves, we need to exercise and engage in uh, reading of the word, praying, giving, and even testifying of the goodness of the Lord. So submit to it strictly. I know sometimes we do it. But we don't do it strictly submitting to discipline and practice of that. But before we, we engage in this, we, for us to become a champion, we must submit strictly to discipline and practice. That is number one. Amen. If you hear that, you can say amen as I take a bottle of water. Amen. And number two, I can see... The, Paul is telling this, is telling these believers of Corinth, take part in the race. Come on, say, if you want to become a champion, you must be the partaker of the race. You cannot just practice and stay away uh, outside of the field or away of the track and you expect to win the race. You can never become a champion because you have practiced, but you practice and you take part in the race. Come on, remind your neighbor, say, you need to take part in the race. Take part in the things of the kingdom. If things are happening, do not leave it for other people to participate while you watch. But you need to be a participant, not a watcher, not just uh, somebody who comes to oversee what is happening, but you you need to participate in the race, take part in the race for you to become a champion. And as athletes, you take part in the race when you participate, things, you, you become a champion because you have been in the race. You practiced and you took part in the race. Number three, this is what I'm saying. Uh, number three, we can see. Uh, what is supposed to be taken forget what is behind you some people run in the race and they look behind they run as they look behind but what you need to understand for you to win the race you cannot look behind if you look behind you will be overcome you, you can even fall down and when you, when you, you slump and, and fall down you cannot become a champion but when you are in the race Tell your neighbor when you are in the race. <coughs> you need to you need to look forward. Backward never, forward ever. And the people in another English from Kenya, they say, Inumawenda Rula, Shendekaruha inumatao. Eh? Behind I came. I will never look behind it again. Forward ever. Backward never. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, forward ever. Backward, never. The slogan of the Wanacheshi, they say, <coughs> the army, they say, Tumbo mbele matako nyuma, pika saruti, pa, hallelujah. Eh, eh, as they march, they are forward, ever, not behind. Look forward if you want to win the rest. Do not look behind because you will see. People who are falling, people who have been defeated, but we are not people to be defeated. We are an overcomer. Come on, say, I am a champion in our making. And for me to become a champion, I must look forward because behind there is things that can make me they get discouraged on the way. But if you look forward, there, there is Christ to make you overcome in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Number four, that Paul is addressing here as the one who wants to become a champion in that scripture we have read, run straight towards the goal. When you are forward, you are looking forward, you don't just run aimlessly or you don't just run this side and this side, but you run straight towards the goal. Come on, tell your neighbor, run straight towards the goal. 
Because if you run in another life, your opponent may make you to fall. Your opponent may go through your line and overcome you. But here, if you want to become a champion in a making, you must run straight towards the call. Come on, say, run towards the call. Run straight towards the call. To not be diverted on two-way traffic. You see, two-way traffic, you may miss which one to follow, which one comes with success. But be straight towards the call and you will achieve. People who achieve, they don't follow so many things, but they follow one thing to succeed and they begin another thing. But sometimes we feel we miss to succeed, we miss uh, to become champions in the things of the kingdom because we follow the devil's way sometimes and we miss, we follow our desires sometimes and we miss to follow, stress the call of the salvation. But I urge us, brethren, let us run straight towards the call. Amen. <coughs> Number five, and the last one, hallelujah, strive to win the prize. While uh, you have practiced, you have taken part in the race, and you have forgotten what is behind you, you are looking forward, you are running towards the call. Now, you strive to win the prize. Oh, while you are competing and your opponents are just closer to you, maybe you are just on the same line, instead of waiting them to pick your prize, you say, it is me, the champion. Come on, say, it is me to become the champion. It is not my opponent to take away what I have. I know God has kept for me something special. And now, for me to pick it, I must be a champion. Oh, say, we are the champions. We are conquerors. We are champions in our making. And now, you strive to win the prize. An athlete, he strives even to champ. And when he jumps, he leaves the opponent behind. He calls number one on the rock. When he jumps the first line, being number one, he becomes a champion. Come on, say, the victory is for me. Come on, tell your neighbor, the victory is for me. I must go an extra mile. Oh, for you to go, uh, to strive to win the prize, you must go extra mile. You must strive. You must strive your muscle. You must pull up your weaknesses. You must be ready to pray more than the way you have been praying. You must give more than the way you have been giving. You must testify the more than you have been testifying. Oh, you must do good the more you have been doing. Because you must serve God the more you have been doing. And surely you will hit your target of the day or your victory. Hence, you become the champion. Come on, say, I am not a loser. I am a conqueror. I am a champion. I must attain my championship in Jesus' mighty name. I know when people, they call uh, to compete in different places, they come out with the trophies. When you become a champion, you must come up with the uh, special trophies. People in the kingdom, they will be given trophies for what they have done in the kingdom, but you will receive a better trophy, or you, you will receive a trophy according to how you participated in the race. And if you are participant, you did not look forward and straight towards the call and strive to win the race, you will not get the uh, better prize. But if you did all that, my friend, I want to assure you today that surely you will get the right prize. You will get, you will score a better trophy. Come on, say, my trophy is the one that the Lord has met for me. Then the, the enemy will not snatch it from me. I am a champion in our making, in Jesus' mighty name. I don't know what has been hindering you, maybe to become a champion. Is it prayer? Is it giving? Is it prayer? 
is it uh, maybe uh, uh, giving your testimony as a living sacrifice? Is it you uh, not doing anything in the kingdom? Today, you can choose with me to become a champion uh, by applying those five principles we have learned today. Come on, let us rise our hands to the Lord as even we pray, as we wind up this ceremony. And let us tell God, we want to become champions, not losers, in Jesus' mighty name. Even at this time of pandemic, I want to assure you, we will not be overcome by corona. Corona, it has just come the other day, but God was there before, and the power of God was there before. And I want to assure you, God is in control, and when God is in control, everything, everything is okay. I want to assure you that Corona is going to end in Jesus' mighty name. I want to assure you that the Lord will be worshipped forever, and the Lord will not be stopped to be worshipped in Jesus' mighty name. If you are sick, if you are running financial status, Lord, I want to assure you that God is doing something new. In Jesus' mighty name, let us pray together. <coughs> our heavenly God, we say thank you because of your power and of your word. Father, you have said that we are not losers. Then if the work of the enemy comes upon our lives, then if sickness attacks us, then if the work of the worshiper comes around us, Father, you will secure us. And you will make us, as we run straight towards you, as we practice, we do the practice that is concerned of the, your word. Father, we become more than conquerors. And now we achieve our championship in Jesus' mighty name. We receive our good health. We receive a financial breakthrough. We receive our spiritual breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. We do believe and pray. May saints say, Amen. Amen.